The world's changing rapidly. Uh, the textbooks say there have been a number of major industrial revolutions, steam, electricity, computers, digitalization, and now we've got artificial intelligence. But there are all kinds of other things that are spinning off from that. Robotics, medicine, biology, biomechanics, uh, self-driving cars, drones, the list goes on and on. Climate change, the environment. There are all kinds of cutting edge sectors and issues that are gonna be driving the economy of the future. Maine needs to be a part of that. What are we doing as a state to find our way into those sectors and make our contribution connect and benefit? We have the talent, we have the people, we ought to be able to make a difference. We ought to be able to tie into those things and be efficient and productive. Everybody's looking at being more productive. And what does it take? Productivity is what generates wealth. You get things done and you do it as efficiently and effectively as possible. You sell your goods, services, talent, product to the world, and wealth comes back to you. But productivity has four key elements. How many people are at work? How trained are they? How much technology supports them? And their access to capital. Those are the four ingredients of improving productivity and generating wealth. Those are the kinds of goals that the Maine legislature and other public policy uh, members of the administration should, should support. Those are the things the people of Maine should demand in our public policies. How do we get all of our people to work, get them well-trained with skills for the 21st century, problem solving, problem identification, uh, the talent and skills that'll be needed for all those um, cutting edge sectors? How do we give them the technical support and the technological support that they need to leverage those skills? And how do we create an environment that attracts investment and provides the capital that's needed to fund everything? That's what should drive public policy in Maine.